Good. What's going on, FA Nation? Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS podcast and live stream recording here for Friday's 10 game main slate. Uh, we have the sound check working, James. We uh, we tested before uh, Wednesday's uh, mistake still reverberating a little bit here. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to make sure we're at a 10 game slate. We want to make sure we have a full breakdown uh, for everybody to listen to, to hear, uh, and get all of our thoughts and analysis for this one because. Uh, it's a doozy. A lot of big names are on this slate. Uh, a lot of big names are already ruled out for this slate as well. Notably, Steph Curry uh, going to miss uh, a couple of weeks there uh, with, with his injury. So uh, some some certainly some interesting roster building, I think, because uh, Luka, Jokic, Embiid, Davis, all up there uh, on this slate. So some high-priced guys as well. Yeah, the Curry um, injury probably couldn't have come at a worse time for Golden State, just considering how well he was playing. They were down a bunch of guys and they need some wins, dude. So uh, it's going to be tough. Hopefully he gets back healthy, but yeah, um, star studded slate uh, across the board. Uh, When you shift over to Vegas, first thing I note is Sacramento, Detroit, 239 total. Uh, We saw what happened in the Detroit Charlotte game. So we know there's right off the bat, no defense will be played (laughs) on that day. Um, 239, 237 in Denver, LA. I keep telling you, um, Denver does not play defense. They're winning games because they're just scoring. Well, let's, they're just, they have Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I say. he's outscoring the opponents. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those two stand out just from, I mean, 237, 239, the same slate. But yeah, 10 games, lots to look at, lots of stars, lots of value, lots of everything. So, um, you know, let's get into it and let's uh let's win some uh, let's win some family members some money here. Yeah, listen, you're gonna do the play or you're on the playbook for this slate here. So uh, you know, we'll have your full breakdown of all players um, you know, that we're gonna be sort of building our lineups around. But you know, this is our first look podcast. We'll do uh you know, kind of a quick overview of each position here and, and kind of give some thoughts on each tier. Uh top price guys here again. If we wanna run with Luca, we can. Uh, especially when when he's at home. We talked a little about this. The numbers are just really good for him at home. Uh, we've been riding Damian Lillard lately. He's been unconscious uh, mm-hmm. of late, but kind of a tough spot here against Dallas. I want to get your thoughts on, on Lillard here on the road. Yeah, I mean, like you said, we've been touting him pretty heavily. He comes in 10% or less every slate too. Like even, I, I think people are under the assumption that he's going to slow down, but like, I guess they've lived under a rock for quite some time about like who Damian Lillard is when he's healthy. Like last year was obviously just a nightmare, right? Lost year, whatever. And they retooled. Sure. They're a pretty good team. Sure. The team still, you know, revolves around Damian Lillard. And when he's going this good, it's, it's hard to fade him. Um, Tough spot. Like you said, Uh, but I mean, a hundred and, 16 points and or more in five straight games 120 points or more in four yeah. straight games like their offense is just clicking on all cylinders i think he'll be very contrarian once again if you want to get there you can um but like i don't think he is a priority i think luca is more of a priority than him even though it's like two thousand dollars more better spot for luca as it compared to, to in, in this matchup against portland earlier this year at home Luca went for 83 fantasy points. Uh, he had 42 actual as part of a triple double. Uh, Lillard had himself 57 fantasy points in Dallas for that game. So mm. these two guards battled uh, back and forth in a matchup already this year. Uh, that was back in November. Uh, and uh, Port- uh, Dallas won that game 117 112. So it was a close competitive game, um, you know, there. So uh, uh, definitely a lead upside. Uh, I like that Lucas price tag is closer to 12 K, right? This right. is, Agreed. Y- you know, again, 12 K five X is 60. That's, that's in the ballpark for him, right? Like 50, sure. he's at uh 61 and a half fantasy points at his price point would be five X. Sure. We can get that when he was 12, seven, 13 K. Like that's where I was like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, you know, I, I, I'm with you there. So both of those guys I think are interesting. Lillard for sure going to go lower rostered on a big slate like this. You know, Lucas, sometimes his ownership gets a little bit depressed as well. Cause there are cheaper guys with similar upside. We'll talk about, yeah. you know, Anthony Davis here coming up, you know, obviously Joel Embiid, uh, other guards though, 
Uh, Trey Young against Charlotte here. Uh, you know, again, we talk about Charlotte. Just don't play any defense or constantly in these high-scoring shootouts. I haven't been playing any Trey Young lately, even with DeJounte Murray back. You know, he just, you know, it just hasn't been there from a scoring standpoint. The assists right. are great, though. I mean, if he does drop 30 with 14 assists, then you're, you're in a, a fantastic spot at 10K. But, you know, outside of tournaments, you know, where does he rank for you here? <sighs> Um, I mean, I like him. Where does he rank? Uh, what amongst like just the 10 K guys? Yeah. I mean, or, like, yeah, if you're, if you're putting in, a, if you're looking to build and you're looking at these top guys of Luca Lillard, Trey young, uh, 10 K and above, you know, Trey's probably a distant third. No. Yeah. I would say, and it's funny. Cause like, I think you and I both believe that, but I think the field will, will play Trey young. Because it's such a good spot against a team that's just in free fall, um, and no one's and no one plays Lillard, right? Just we just know that no one's going to play him. So I think it's interesting. Um, I think Young is third, but I would flip him and Lillard in terms of roster ship. I think Trey Young is going to be vastly higher owned. Okay, yeah, I mean we certainly because of the matchup. What did you say that do we have a total on this one yet? um atlanta charlotte 233 and a half so huge total half a point spread charlotte is a half a point favorite as of now yeah that seems to to make some sense there um so yeah i, I agree ownership probably goes straight young we've just seen higher ceilings lately of the other two uh below them sga here going up against minnesota right this is a We've been playing everybody against Minnesota now for a little bit. He's averaging 53 fantasy points in two games against Minnesota already this year. Um, you talked about how lately, you know, we haven't had that big, big ceiling because his rebounds and assists kind of have dipped. Uh, eight rebounds, seven assists last game against Miami. Uh, right. 27 actual, only 47 fantasy points there, but now he's under 10K. Yeah. Um, I mean... Uh, that game uh two games ago was so fun him versus luca um i don't think i can like i can get there um but like dude this position is so good donovan mitchell 8600 yeah. feels too cheap um Kyrie 8500 just too cheap lamelo's at 8k he's a hundred dollars well, cheaper than I, he was the other day dude like no limit whatsoever. He, he only limits minutes. himself. Only limits yep. himself. Six fouls. So Would have played 40. Yeah, if yeah. he doesn't foul. I mean, Van Vliet coming off literally a slate breaker. Um, so, like, yeah, I think SGA is viable. I just think that this 8K tier is so elite. Like, I'd even say Jordan Poole's name, and there's no Steph Curry as right. you know, so. Uh, Kyrie's averaging 42 fantasy points in three games against Toronto this year. I'm um, just kind of putting that into perspective uh, about his production. Uh, definitely love LaMelo in tournaments. I was so close to yeah. putting him in the playbook on Wednesday. Got scared off by the like, will play in spurts comment. And obviously that's a load of crap. I right. played the whole game. <laughs> so like, um, you know, he, he is, he is better than an AK player. So yep. uh, definitely for sure throwing him in your laps yeah pool at 82 um we didn't talk about james harden in 99 obviously but i mean right. like uh you and i were talking about it i'm like dude it's the second quarter so harden has taken one <laughs> shot and then he scores like 16 points in that second quarter next thing you know he goes for 62 um i mean where do you like golden state can still be competitive in this game yep. here with clay and pool and and draymond and like that whole crew here um you know, we didn't talk about Harden though. Like, what are your thoughts here for for Harden at ninety nine? Do you feel the same way about Harden at ninety nine as you do at SGA because of that eight K range and below? Yep. Um. Maybe. I mean, Harden played thirty six minutes in a blowout. I would say the difference between SGA and Harden is like Harden has fifteen, sixteen, and twelve assists over the last three games, um, all while scoring well. Um. I would put Harden ahead of SGA, but I do still like that AK tier quite a bit. So um, I don't like you don't have to spend up at any of these like these point guard spots if you just like or at all and just yeah. play James Harden as your 
36 minutes in a blowout? Like, that's just ridiculous. Yes. That's ridiculous. He just, he, and say 60 points is, is, is solid there. So, uh, other guys are in the set. You talked about the AK range, 7K tier here. Um, you know, DeAndre Russell didn't play the other day. Uh, $7,600. He's questionable if he suits up. You know, we definitely like current form Russell here. Um, really, really strong performances out of him at that price point. Uh, Russell Westbrook, really good game against Boston the other day. 56 fantasy points. Got for 50 now in two of the last uh, three games here. Uh, the minutes, you know, obviously there was some overtime there at Boston, but, you know, 36 and 35 in two of the last three. Um, you know, tournaments play at 71. You talk about Denver's defense being pretty porous. Uh, Jamal Murray, you know, tough game against Washington there. Uh, Jokic just kind of dominated everything that was <laughs> yeah. going on there. Uh, but for tournaments, I think Murray at 7K is fine. Um, you know, what other, you know, mid-tier guards are on your radar here? Brunson gets to run it back against a bad Bulls defense. Um, 11 for 21 made their Bulls best perimeter defender uh, fall yeah. down. 45 fantasy points, 30 actual love. Jalen Brunson, 68. Um, I don't love the rest of the mid-tier. I would say the lower mid-tier is kind of maybe where our interest should lie. Okay. Maybe maybe Golden State continues to start Dante DiVincenzo, who you and I have touted as like a very good player for a long time yeah. and started the other day he with did. Steph. Yeah, started and, the and other I, day. He, may, he, but, he probably start for Steph, honestly. Or, and there's no Wiggins, too. Right. Wiggins is out. Draymond is questionable to play. Like the Warriors have a lot of question marks. I think DiVincenzo is probably Big price just... bomb. That's that's my issue. The price yeah. for him. Um, but again, the minutes should be there. He's been productive, thirty plus and three or four. So um, you know, but he's not five K or four K anymore. He's almost six. So they just might be down three starters, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, no Steph, no. We we know no Steph. We know no Wiggins possibly no Draymond. Like it feels like DiVincenzo's role just has to be there, mm-hmm. but you're right. The, the price pump is a little, little, little worrisome. What are your um, thoughts on Dinwiddie at 67? He has been really good um, in, in situations. Now the Chicago game where they lose by 30, there was no Luca. Right. And then he looked great against OKC. And then he had a terrible matchup in Cleveland. Um, so you can't think he's fine, right? I, I all think all things considered, okay. against Cleveland, ten, six, and seven is not bad, right? Like, yeah, he's been he's, he's been very productive. Yeah. Uh, if and if he scores the twenty that we probably expect him to score sometimes, because he is like very good on a fantasy point per minute basis, um, then we're talking about big upside. He's going to be quite literally one percent at that price. Yeah, no, for no, sure. No one's going to play him at that price tag. Yep, uh, I'm in a full agreement with you there. Uh, Kevin Horder got ruled out the other day. Uh, I'm not sure if we have an updated status for him, but Malik Monk did play 33 minutes. I know you also like Terrence Davis, uh, but Monk, if, if Horder's out at 5,300. Yeah. Horder questionable. Um, definitely Malik Monk. Really good Terrence... spot for guards here. We didn't talk Fox, yep. but Detroit has been an attack spot for us here. True. It's a great call. And Fox coming off 53 fantasy points. Best game he's had in years, right? Yeah. Like seemingly after that crazy hot stretch he was on and then um couldn't do anything yeah uh i think the box great play definitely think malik monk's great play and the thing about monk is he closed that game over davis like davis was great um but davis was only only 3500 so yeah. even though he got off to such a good start he didn't play the final like eight or nine minutes of that game just monked it and right. so um if monk's gonna make shots he's gonna be on the floor uh, definitely, definitely in play if there's no cover quarter. Alec Burks played 26 minutes against Charlotte, had 38 fantasy points. Uh, played 24 minutes against the Lakers game before that, had 23. Uh, any interest there in Alec Burks? My only thing I messaged you to, um, and it was more so about Jalen Duran. It was like a brief discussion where, like, I think Detroit has like very good value, right? They yeah. just like don't, but. Dwayne Casey's just like in this weird place where he's playing everyone 24 to like 28 minutes, except like Boyan, right? Boyan's just playing a bunch of minutes. So like, I like it. And I think both of you and I love Alec Burks, but what happens if he doesn't go eight for 12 from the floor and four for six, is he still playing that much? You know, maybe is that a product of, is the extra like seemingly two to four minutes because he made every shot GPPs only, 
you're you're right. He's been very good. It's not. I'm not. I don't want to like shit on your analysis because you're correct. But Detroit's oh, just yeah. <laughs> no. Detroit's just getting in that territory sure. where I'm just like, ah, you sure. guys are just. Uh, if uh, Jalen Noel again, our guy at 46, good spot for again for him against OKC here. Um. You know, he's, yeah. he's averaging 21 minutes in three games against the Thunder. He's averaging 25 fantasy points in those three games. So, yep. um, you know, he just had 21 points in 23 minutes uh, early December against them. I'm trying to see if there's maybe an outlier game that could have, like, popped off. 24 minutes, 27 fantasy points. And then on opening night, he had 20 fantasy points in 18 minutes. So, he's he's, he's just out there. And if Russell's out uh, just a, just a great spot for him there. Dude, he took 16 shots in 25 minutes. Yeah. Like, I feel like, I feel, again, we talked about this a lot. I know he had 17 fantasy points. I understand. And you and I were shouting from the rooftops, like, play him, play him, play him, even though he's not starting. Like, you can't be mad at that. He no. took 16 shots in 25 minutes. What if he goes a 10 for 16? What? And then he plays 30 minutes, right? Because every shot's falling, like, you can't. You just can't be mad at somebody. And zero assists, which is or has not been the case for him. Zero assists. So, zero like, assists. Yep. Just a, just an unlucky run there, but great spot for him. All right. Uh, one thing I'll note here. Uh, we'll get to it at center. Obviously, Robert Williams is back for Boston in this game. Uh, makes me wonder again. Just kind of throws a little bit of a hint into the the Boston rotation a little bit, right? Like just mm-hmm. one guy's in, one guy's got to go down. Brogdon only played twenty one minutes. He was losing out there to Luke Cornett in overtime, right? So like, <laughs> you know, tough tough to see. I want to see what this Boston rotation looks like with Rob Williams back uh, into the mix there. Uh, four shooting guards. Speaking of Boston guys, Jalen Brown is at ninety two hundred dollars, coming off Oof. a fifty eight fantasy point game against the Lakers. 25 points and 15 rebounds in that overtime game. Uh, do we know if Al Horford is clear uh, COVID protocols yet? So or? he, so he's been cleared. He's been away for a personal matter. Okay. So we'll see if he's in or out of this game or not. Um, Brown's rebounding numbers have been really good with Al Horford out of the lineup. Uh, for Question, the most, for questionable the most as of now. Yeah. So something to watch for there, but uh, 92 is, is a tough, price to get for Jalen Brown. You Agreed. just gotta if you're playing him, you're just hoping to be right that night. Right. You're just hoping yep. that, that you're hoping it's a Jalen Brown night. Uh Anthony Edwards at eighty nine hundred dollars. He's averaging forty three fantasy points in three games against the Thunder and those games included Carl Anthony Towns. Um no towns now in this game. So uh for the last five games for Anthony Edwards he's averaging forty fantasy points. You know, again, feels like a ceiling spot for him. Could be. Um it just also feels like could also be a letdown, right? It's like Anthony Edwards is just so up and down. It's what a roller coaster. I mean, it goes for 56, 46, 57, and then 31, and then 48, and then 28, and then 36. What are we going to get next? Like, it's just. Well, I, I think there's a ceiling steals game potential in this one. <laughs> yeah, fair. I'll, I'll give you that. That's for sure. Uh, other guys here, we talked Jordan Poole already. Uh, what are we doing with the Charlotte guys? Both Rozier and Oubre on DraftKings are right next to one another. They're 78 and $7,500. We talked about LaMelo Ball being 8K. Uh, they all took, uh, Terry Rozier took 28 shots. <laughs> right? And again, that went to overtime, but still like 28 shots. Uh, missed almost all of them and still came through with 40 fantasy points. Uh, again, I messaged you and I was like, uh, Terry Rozier just scored 13 points in the final six minutes of the fourth quarter um death taxes rosier taking 20 plus shots put in the playbook still holds true even with lamella ball there and then kelly Oubre took 27 shots he had 49 fantasy points so yeah you know i was worried about lamella ball and maybe taking away from those two other those two other guys it just turns out they took shots away from everybody else and those three were the ones <laughs> who were taking everything yeah seems that way um yeah i mean I- like Rozier, I think these peripherals are more so what we're going to see with LaMelo back on the floor, um, especially in the assist category. But if he goes eight, if he goes 12 for 28 or he goes 15 for 28, I mean, we're talking about a guy who goes for 50 fantasy points. Right. And Kelly Oubre has been great. Um, 27 actual over his last five games, 42 fantasy points. I actually probably lean Oubre for a little cheaper. Um, but it's, I think you could play both of them in tournaments. Okay. Yeah. Both shooting at small forward eligible too. So, 
Uh, Zach Levine's at 73. I'll just keep banging the drum. Play him. Play him. Uh, Clay Thompson, no Steph, 7,100 bucks. Play him. Just put him in your lineup. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great spot. It's going to be a great spot for him for sure. Uh, I think Giddy, we didn't talk about him at point guard, but a good Giddy spot here. He gave you a near trouble double again against Miami. 43 fantasy points for him at 7,200 is a, is a really nice price tag. Yeah, is he the best rebounding guard in the NBA? One of them? Yeah. One of the best? Five so best I'll, say he's, I'll say this. I think he's the best rebounding guard in the NBA that isn't out there for like his triple double numbers, like Russell Westbrook is. Yeah. You know, right? Sure. Like Giddy's just out there rebounding, you know? Like, because mm-hmm. he's. Well, you they know, need it. <laughs> they, they need him when right. they're starting, when Darius Baisley and JRE's on the, on the floor. Right. Westbrook know? was just rebounding because he wanted his triple doubles, right? That's <laughs> the only reason he's out there. Um, so yeah, Giddy at seventy two, really good spot again. We like we like going up against Minnesota defense. They're just they just so, are so trash uh, this year. So uh, other guys here, uh, Bogdan's up to six k. Uh, we can play. Can you pay it? Probably just a really just like a weird night. Didn't start and didn't, got off to a yeah. wildly slow start. Yeah, he yeah he scored a lot in the fourth. So like, I think you can get to six. 6k but it's a great spot it's yeah. a great spot there's still no Dejounte. there's no capella now so uh i was weary of gary trent i i still just don't like him i i don't know i don't know what your thoughts are here i just i'm not a gary trent guy it's tournaments only i mean they didn't need him van vliet took over that game um but there's still no, no og gary trent probably starts so like if you want to go there you can you don't have to sure Type of thing. Yep. Uh, quickly gets his minutes. He actually played the majority of that overtime as well. So um, something to look at at 51 against Charlotte if you want to run it back with him there. Uh, THJ, really bad shooting night against Cleveland. But again, t- Cleveland is such a tough matchup for everybody. Dude, they're so, they're so good. Uh, I'm just encouraged that he played 31 minutes again. So if he's in the starting sure. lineup, I, I I think this is a spot where we can run it back. Uh, he, had, he played 31 minutes against them. So I guess this must have been one of his early starting games here. Um, for, for Dallas, he had 29 fantasy points in that game, 16 actual. Yeah. I mean, they also like not good body language in Dallas right now. Yes. I um, saw, I saw the, I saw the, the Luca clip there. Uh, I know it, he, where he didn't do a uh, dap up Dwight Powell. Yeah. yeah. Um, they started Christian Wood and, um, Reggie Bullock in the second half over Finney Smith and Powell. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I mean, it's just a terribly constructed roster. Yes. Well, Luca has said he would like Christian Wood to start. So, dude, Christian Wood. I mean, great signing there, but like, what are we doing playing Christian Wood twenty four minutes? Christian Wood asks, like, what am I doing playing twenty four right. minutes? Um, you brought me here to sit on the bench. What? <laughs> like, so I think like their offense is going to start looking better. I think Hardaway is going to directly correlate there so i I agree tournaments only because obviously low floor but if his shot starts to fall big big upside uh quentin grimes is playing a boatload of minutes um just a little inconsistency with uh his production he's been good though or or good ish lately good ish good ish uh anybody else for here for you do you like lonnie walker at all or anybody like that um i like kobe white okay 3600 um i don't it depends on io who i think practice um, he's questionable. If he doesn't play, Kobe White played 27 minutes for the second game off, second time in a row off the bench. Um, we know he is a high volume guy. Mm-hmm. Only eight shots, which I think we could see 10 plus. I mean, 12, four and two, 3,600. Good spot against the Knicks. Um, I would consider Kobe White if I had to sum moves out. Okay. Uh, and then obviously Terrence Davis, uh, if he starts again for Harder, yeah. assuming Harder yeah. is ruled out, we'll go there. Sure. Uh, small forward position. Uh, Tatum's at 11 1, Durant's at 10 9. Playing him? Tatum, yes. Um, I mean, again, it's we say this all the time. He just has tournament winning upside. Yeah. 66 against the Lakers. He had 60 against Orlando in their first meeting. It's just, I mean, the guys, again, MVP. Um, Durant, no, I don't think. Hasn't been great against Toronto. And maybe that's OG on a newbie related, but they do still have Scotty Barnes defending. So we're going to see a lot of Scotty Barnes. There. Not that anyone can stop Durant when he's going, but we've talked about it a lot. It's just Durant can score 40 points here. And that might be all he does because Ben Simmons and Nick Claxton are on the floor. So right. 
Uh, I would rather play Tatum than Durant, but LeBron under 10K against Denver. Yep, averaging 43 really? fantasy points in two games against them, but as we've talked about recently, Denver's defense – uh, not great, and LeBron's giving us some ceiling performances lately as well. He always gets up for Boston. We talk about this all the time. So uh, overtime helped a bit too, but not shocked to see him go for you know sixty whatever it was against the Celtics there. But uh, I do like that price a lot for him as well, much like I do DeRozan at eighty three hundred dollars. You know, true. Um, forty four fantasy points. Forty fantasy points almost feels like the floor uh, for him at this point. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm good with the 83. Can certainly run him out there. Probably a better cash game play at this point, but yep, probably uh, definitely some decent upside uh, when he pops. So I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, thoughts on Jeremy Grant? Any interest here? Now that he has small forward eligibility as well. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I mean, we've seen right like yeah. the last four games. Dame has hey, taken all the shots, <laughs> and we see what happens. So like, you know, like you can get there if you want. Sure. No, I don't think I'd get there at seven. I guess the obvious pivot would be Bogdan, Bojan Bogdanovic here, sixty six hundred dollars because he's just been continues yep. to shoot the lights out. Yep. Uh, for Detroit, uh, I wrote when I when I wrote him up in the playbook the other day. I'm like, he's this year's uh, shooter on a bad team, right? Like he's yep. always a bit player wherever he would go, and then he's all of a sudden he's on a bad team, so he's like the leading scorer. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, that's 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 what we got for Bojan this year, and he's he's playing it's like when he well. scored. Fit. This is like when he what, this is the second time he's done this. This is like at the end of his run in Brooklyn when yeah. he had like fifty. He scored like fifty in a game. This yeah, is, this is that. This is that time again. Yep, yep. He's he's there. He's taking all their shots. He's their best shooter. Offense like finds him. So, <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, it's just the way it's breaking here. Uh, Kyle Anderson at fifty-seven. You can run it there if you want. That's sure. fine. I don't mind it. Um, anybody else here for value for you? DeAndre Hunter, I guess at fifty-one hundred. Yeah, I mean, thirty-eight minutes, hard hour. Yeah, game. yeah, twenty-five actual too. Yeah, so lottery uh, pick. It's a good player. Lottery pick. Um, and there's no Dejounte, so like now in the starting lineup, it's him and Trey. Yeah, now that like, the minutes, that is, now that the minutes limit's over, right? Because he was yeah. capped. Um, yep. you know, thirty-eight minutes, full systems go here. Yep. So I'm fully buying into the under hundred fifty-one. That's that is a that is a fantastic price in a in a very very good spot. Uh, we got 31 minutes again for Jalen Williams against Miami. Yep. 38, 31, 29, 26, 31. The minutes have been there. Um, I know you say it all the time. Trust OKC at your own, uh, you know, demise basically. Well, I was about to ask: Has he crept into our circle of OKC trust, or uh, they like the kid? They touted him pretty heavily during the preseason. Like they know he can shoot, so. Mm-hmm. And now they're playing him. So yeah, now they're playing him. I mean, you know, we can get there. Yeah. I, I don't. It's I don't, a good matchup I, for him, right? It so, is a good matchup. It is a good matchup. Uh, anybody else here for you? Keegan Murray, 33, 32 minutes. I mean, sure. um, two of four of twelve shooting. You know, twenty fantasy points uh, gets a really good matchup against Detroit front court. Um, so I think if if Porter's out, I would consider Keegan. Okay. Patrick Williams played 40 minutes, obviously. Dude, I know. I'm like, so what a what a random 40 minutes it was. <laughs> yeah. But I'm happy. I'm happy it happened because he. I mean, we've been saying it forever. Like they took this kid fourth, dude. They yeah. took him fourth overall. Gonna be the stretch four of our future, right? And he just hasn't been. But maybe this is the jump start. Maybe this is the kickstart. Yeah, get him back in the starting lineup. They started Javante green there for a bit. Got Patrick Williams now back in the starting lineup, getting the minute. So I'm with you power forward here. Again, we talked about a lot of these guys. Uh, Siakam is still 10, five. Uh, I, I told you not to play him right against Sacramento. Yeah. I didn't want to do it. And he went for 33 under 40 fancy points now in two straight games. So I'm still out on the 10, five price tag. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, in his defense, um, I mean, like Van Vliet's not probably not going to have the game that he had last maybe, time out. Maybe it's not out of his, but his he it's not out of yeah, it's in his back. So, um, yeah, ten five is like I'm okay with like when Siakam's hovering at like under a little under ten k, probably ten mm-hmm. k. This is a little past my price range. Okay. 
Uh, I wasn't in on Randall uh, at his 87 the other day. They went to overtime. He had 31 <laughs> and 13. So, yeah. I mean, he played 46 minutes. Yeah, same I still matchup. don't like the price, but 69 and 57 fantasy points in two of the last four. Um, <laughs> same exact spot again. Yeah, same spot. If you want to play him, go for it. I just, you know, I, I, I told you I liked Mobley the other day. Like 35 minutes against Dallas is a tough spot. You know, he had some foul trouble a little bit, but better spot against the Pacers. $7,900. Like I'd probably play Mobley over Randall here, but yeah. Again, it's it's if you want to be different, I don't think anybody's gonna play Julius Randle at eighty seven hundred dollars. So probably not. I, he was actually a little higher on than I anticipated last slate, but um, I think that this is a deeper slate. Like DeRozan, power forward eligible. Ben Caro is seventy seven hundred, just coming off like heaters lately. Um, so I and I think there's depth at power forward against as well. Boston at first too. But I mean, 35 fantasy points. So it wasn't obviously a, a slate breaker, but uh, re, he was. I guess he was a real better basketball game than it was a fantasy game because <laughs> I watched that one. So uh, let's see here. Ben Simmons returned to Toronto. He's averaging 34 fantasy points in two games against them this year. Yeah, as long as there's like no limit. I mean, there time. is a limit. I know. Still been good. He played I'm 23 good. minutes. He gave you 26 fantasy points. At some point, the minutes are going to go up. Right? Yeah, yeah. They're only going to go up from here. Yeah. So, it's a good number. We were playing We it's were playing number. Ben Simmons at this price tag earlier this year. So Touche. Touche. Uh, let's see here. Value, guys. Let's see. Mo Wagner popped off again. I don't know if we can trust Dude, that. he is he is just like, it's just night and day with this guy. Stay out of foul trouble and play a bunch of minutes. Mm-hmm. Horford, uh, Jalen McDaniel or, still played 35, even with Lamelo back. So, yeah, big game too. Yeah. I think he's going to benefit from Lamelo. Yeah, I think he benefits from Lamelo being back. Who got the hit there, PJ? Then you know, PJ played 30. Who missed minutes? They can't uh, all they, play 35. Minutes. I think they just pro- <laughs> they just played a six man kind of like a short. <laughs> yeah, just a, a condensed. Let's let's look at Charlotte's. Uh, yeah, well, you do that. Uh, Kaminga, I still think is in play at 49. Yeah, I mean, Draymond's, and Draymond's questionable in that game, right. too. So, yep. I mean, if Draymond doesn't start, um, Charlotte played. So, I mean, like you said, there was overtime involved. Um, six guys played 30 plus minutes, um, and they played eight guys total. Maladon played 16, Kai Jones played 14, Nick Richards played 19. So, um, McDaniel's probably just playing, I mean, played more than PJ. Right. And also playing backup three. Ubre can switch to the two. Rosier can play point guard. Like, there's a lot. McDaniels being multi position or uh, like faceted definitely helps his case. Yep. I'm with you. Any other po- uh, power forwards? Um, Any other power forwards? I mean, like, I said it last game, and I'm just going to ask you again. And you know, I hate playing the Thunder with a passion. But Basley played 31 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 31 minutes out of the clouds, 3K. He was 3,500 now. Yep. 12, 5, 2, 1, 1. Poku played eight minutes. Poku's now dead, right? They just hate Poku. Like, would you play Darius Basley? Nope. Can't trust it. Okay. <laughs> just the- I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm with you. Thank you for Thank you for snapping me out of it. I mean, like, so the only, like, obviously, uh, Robinson Earl being out, uh, like, adjust their front court rotation but he's still and he's still out so but a very difficult to trust who they start with him out if they start uh, they started pokashevsky yeah, but eight, i think he played, he played minutes? i think i think i believe they started pokashevsky and he played eight minutes yeah yeah impossible um i mean pokashevsky uh no they started they started basically right, he well, started and played 31 minutes right, if basically starts then i will begrudgingly probably consider him but i know it's gonna screw me so uh we like ba- we like darius Baisley. so like i know he just like doesn't for whatever reason he just doesn't play minutes. just doesn't play they just, they just they just don't play him uh center position here Jokic is at 11 9 we saw what he just did 82 fantasy points uh after going for 80 the night before that so now he's got the lakers <laughs> Again, it's it's he's so elite. So I'm never gonna tell you not to pay the price. The guy is 
I mean, 71 against the Pelicans earlier, like three games prior. He's just, he's so good. He's averaging 62 against the Lakers this year. Yep. He's so good. Uh, but JoJo. <laughs> also so good. It's also so good. If there's no Draymond, they call James Wiseman back up. They yep. start Looney, and then they're what? Rolling Looney, Kaminga, Wiseman, Jamichael Green. Oh like, my god! Like Joel Embiid is going to. Eat he's going to massacre. He's going to. It's a massacre. He's going to eat. It's a massacre. Going to eat them. He just had a fifty burger against Charlotte, so like it's in the bag, right? Like. Yep. <sighs> no, it's a massacre. Flip, it's a massacre. Your, flip the coin, uh, and pick a center. They're both just, um, in in elite spots here. Uh, not to just be not mentioned, but Anthony Davis has gone for 85 recently and 72 nights ago. So like, yep. can he do it against the Joker? I can don't do know. it against any, can do it against anybody. Right. Like I, he, like I was worried about him against Philly because of the fouls. He did have five fouls. He also had 31 and 12. Yep. So like, and he had, didn't he have two fouls and he played like, four first quarter minutes right then he he had two quick ones on it against yeah Embiid. jojo dude that was my well that's why i didn't want to play anthony davis i said if you remember we made lineups and i played and beat over anthony yep. davis and i was like i'm worried yep. about the fouls and he fight right away right away foul foul and he still he played over played 30 minutes he'd be 31 and 12 he's just <laughs> on another level right now um i don't think anybody plays davis though here so probably not no you know good good contrarian spot i guess uh, we've been touting centers against Detroit. It, you know, I don't love Sabonis, but guys got 59 and 60 <laughs> through the last four. Dude. Oh, 21 and 20. Yeah, dude. And he just six plus assists like every game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And so it's a really great platform. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, great this guy's so good. Yep. Uh, mid-tier center guys uh, thoughts on anybody here i don't actually love the mid-tier here. I, I was gonna ask i was literally gonna ask you the question is this just a situation where we spend all the way up or we just go to value because i don't think there's anyone we need to play maybe yeah. christian wood in the tournament if he starts um at 6k like maybe mitch rob 52 but like again no volume where we could Go to Kamingo 49. We can go to Ngonku 47 with no Capella. We can yeah, go we, to Jalen Duran. About if they start Jalen Duran, I mean, we talk, I, I, you know, told you if they start Jalen Duran and play him against Charlotte, um, didn't hit any shots. That's obviously a little frustrating. Two for eight <laughs> shooting, 19 rebounds, right? Yep. Like, look at the four, the last four games. He started three of these four games. He started against the Pelicans, started against Memphis Grizzlies, started against Charlotte Hornets. 13, 12, and 19 rebounds in those three games. He had 13 rebounds in 24 minutes off the bench against the Lakers. The guy is a rebounding machine. Uh, he's got some touch around the rim. Obviously, he struggled against Charlotte there. Um, you know, doesn't give you a lot of blocks, steals, but low end double double upside at 4,400 is not the worst. Yep. Uh, and then I asked you, and you said no, but I'm going to just pose it for the po- sake of the podcast here. If Alpha Horford sits out, Robert Williams is cleared to play. I would imagine he's going to be on a minutes limit. Yep. But this 20. is a guy that gets five blocks and two steals. And in like 20 minutes, he can get a couple of lobs and he's going to rebound. Like, I don't know. I, I think there's some GPP interest here at Rob Williams at 45. Um, you know, I would, we're, we're going to get, I imagine a range of minutes for him. If it's 20 to 25, like I don't mind the GPP option here. I know, a Gunku is going to be chalk because he is in the matchup here against Charlotte, which for as long as you and I have been doing this podcast, it has been centers against Charlotte. It's, we, you know, it's death taxes centers against Charlotte. It's been the number one commandment of, of fantasy alarm NBA DFS. He plays centers against Charlotte. He's 4,700. There's no Clint Capella. He just went for 15 and 11. I mean, yeah, you know, a Gunku is in a really good spot here. Um, you know, the, and he should get all the minutes. So everybody's going to play him there. I think that Williams, if we get a decent minutes production for him, uh, could be viable at 45. I mean, Duran, as long as he's starting again, is viable at 44. Um, I'm with you there. This is a spot where you spend all the way up at the top two or three guys. Mid, mid-tier mid doesn't need to be touched. And you, if not, you go find the value. Yeah, and you could also play Darius Baisley down here, 3,500. Right. He has center eligibility. So I think there's plenty to get to like 
where that mid tier you could just stay clear and I think you'd be happy. I agree. Um, I I do I will say like on the Rob Williams front, if I, I can't imagine a world where he plays twenty five minutes. Um I mean, he had the knee surgery, right? Like yeah. I yeah. feel like it's very like very seldom do we see someone play that many minutes coming back from like a knee. Sure. Maybe Rob Williams is different, but he's also been like very injury prone throughout his career, at least, you know, yeah, this I was mean, a cleanup of the, cause remember he, he hurt his knee in the Eastern conference semis last year against Milwaukee. I think it was, uh, or no, it was against the Nets. He hurt himself against the Nets. He had the scope and then he came back and kind mm-hmm. of played with like the scoped knee. And then during the off season, they fixed the, the, the injury basically. So, um, yeah, he's been rehabbing. He's been practicing for a little bit. I mean, I agree with you. It's unlikely he goes out there and plays 30. Uh, but if we do get a minutes range where it's like 25 minutes, I would have some, sure. I'd have some interest there. I think if, I think in that scenario where he, especially if Horford's he, out, like, I feel yeah. like it would be, you know, there's just so much of potential for him in that offense. So. Sure. Sure, uh, sure. And yes, I'm slightly blinded by the fact that he plays for the Celtics and I am a Celtics fan. So um, but also the guy has had games with like five blocks and four steals before. So sure. uh, can't be that. All right. Build it up. Who are we plugging in here? Is it Jokic? Is <sighs> it Dame Lillard? Is it Luka Doncic? Is it Jojo? Who is it? 10, 10 game slates here, Johnny, you know, um, I'll it's... make it easy for us and I'll put Basley in a power forward right now. Oh, I can't believe we're doing $3, that. $3,500. Can't believe we're doing that to everyone knowing how much we, everyone knowing how much we just making it easy for everybody. How much we hate playing Thunder. Um, Oh, I can't believe you just did that. So brutal. So brutal. Um, Yo, I mean, Jokic, Duran, like we could play them both probably. You play Jokic in the play. This is, this is the three that I have. I currently have in our lineup. Uh, And it gives us about 5k a player. It is Jokic at center. It's Basley at power forward. It's LeBron James at small forward. I don't hate that because you're the little. I mean, again, you, I you just throw you throw a Kunku in your util. That's or fit, that's we go either go. Well, it depends. It goes. It's either a Kunku or it's Jalen Duran, pretty much, right? Yeah, it's I like want a Kunku over Charlotte. Okay. I feel like okay, okay. I'm down. I mean, like we said, death taxes. Bigs against um, Charlotte. Uh, I'm going to run Jalen Noel there at 46. There was a note on Minnesota earlier today on practice, I believe. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. And if I find it, <laughs> you can keep building. I will, it, I'm, just, I'm gonna. I'm going to figure it out because it – I don't know if they practiced. I feel like they missed practice. Okay. Um, McLaughlin is out. Mm-hmm. Russell questionable. Rudy yeah. Gobert question. Oh, yeah, Gobert is questionable. Yeah, Nas Reed. Nas Reed. Both of us right at the same time. Nas, Nas Reed, Reed is a four K sure. center. Nas Reed a four K center. He is an elite fantasy producer. Yeah, he would be a pretty good one uh, if he was to be ruled out there. Uh, D'Lo. Questionable. Austin River is not an injury report. He left that last game with an injury. Yeah, he also sucks. So he definitely sucks. He played 28 minutes and had eight fantasy points, and that yep. wasn't a bad night for him. That's just what he does. <laughs> um, all right, we got 5100 dollars for a point guard, guard, and forward here. 51 for a almost point 52. Guard. Almost 52. We if we we got another 4K guy somewhere in the range here. We can slide in there. What was it point guard? What were the other two positions? Yeah, it's either point guard, shooting guard, guard, and forward. Let's see here. The other Jalen Jalen Williams is forty six. If you want to throw another Thunder player in there, no, 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 no. Okay. It's it's one. It's we cannot bring. We cannot do that to our okay. our trusty listeners. That uh, they would never come back to this podcast. THJ uh, Hunter at fifty one. Yeah, 151 is a good one. Uh, 5,200 for a point guard and a guard. I mean, like, Kobe White is the easy answer, but we just don't know if Io Dissunmo's out. Right. Let's see here. 
do we have any under 4k guys that we like Burks. i don't see any i was just looking i, I mean, don't davis see any would under... be the guy if if uh harder was ruled out again yeah he just doesn't play minutes without him right like he's just not like a rotation and grimes plays all the minutes it's just so low floor like you you can he i guess he's been better like you mentioned lately um I'd rather KCP's probably play Burks. been better lately. KCP's at 40. KCP has been better. He's been better. I probably I'd almost rather play Burks than um okay. Grimes for like two hundred dollars more. Burks out there, so uh, that gives us a fifty six hundred dollar guard if we play Alec Burks there. How much? Fifty seven. Fifty six. Fifty seven would have been great. We could have played DDV, uh, but <laughs> we did not get there. Um, I mean, it's Malik Monk. Like the pivot would be Monk. Davis, right? Like yeah. we would just pivot to both those guys if. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could go down to to Embiid from Jokic and play Dante Divincenzo. That's the that's the money that fits. Uh, I don't want to get off Jokic. I don't think. But Embiid has a better, probably the better matchup, and just given what Davis, like Davis, could do, right? Yeah, possibly. Um, so with Embiid, we have a six K guard that gets us Bogdan, Bogdan. Uh, and we play him and Hunter, but I mean it's a great spot. And we play in Gunku. We're having three. Oh Hawks. yeah, well, we'd have three Hawks against Charlotte, but Charlotte plays no defense, zero defense. No defense. I'd be. Um, okay. I'd actually be. I wouldn't be completely opposed to that. Right. I mean, y'all just had big games in the same game, right? Thirty-one fantasy yeah. points for a Gunku. Um, 28 for Bogdan on the slow start. And then we saw Hunter at 25 actual in that game. So, yep. um, that's our full salary there. So if we're going to run it out, we got Alec Burks, Jalen Noel, LeBron James, Darius Baisley, Joel Embiid, Bogdan, Bogdan, Daniel Hunter, and our said DeAndre Hunter and, uh, Agonku there, uh, do you cap it off for it? James will be on your playbook. If you have any questions, find us all for that. Uh, any final words for the people at home, James? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday. Um, we'll be back Monday. Yeah, we'll be back Monday. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. We'll talk to you guys later. Be in the Discord. See you there.